What are these camps really all about? These camps are an institution that we've built in our traditional territory that is designed to produce leadership uh, skills, to prepare the next generation of our leaders uh, in a setting that's conducive to learning in a setting that involves their culture, that involves their language, that involves their history, and uh, it also prepares them to be able to work with each other. Located in the northern central region of British Columbia, the stunning Muskwakachika region is rich in diverse wildlife and natural resources. With the MK Youth Camp set in this dramatic natural setting, youth from a variety of backgrounds share the teachings from elders and speakers as they revert to ancient lessons that are derived from the first people who inhabited this majestic land. A typical day would involve them getting up in the morning and the first thing they do in the morning is they greet each other. Uh, sometimes there's a, a run that they do or a walk in the morning uh, to loosen up. Colonization and modernity have eroded and decayed indigenous traditions. The youth who attend this camp have often felt the void left from a fragmented culture struggling to survive. Uh, young people that we have at these camps uh, come from communities where there are a great deal of social problems. So what we do is we set these camps up uh, in the mountains so that we can have these young people in an environment that's conducive to learning where we can get them away from all of the pressures of modern culture. The 10 youth who participate in this annual camp will venture into a world rich in history, culture, and traditions. They'll begin their journey with a single step into the vast, dramatic wilderness. We used to all live like this. We used to all live in family groups throughout the mountains and our people used to just move with the season, with the following the game. Our people uh, were living very much uh, as the hunter-gatherers, nomadic people, and people were healthy. But yet we have uh, many of our people are, are caught in a vortex of alcoholism and, and drug addiction. Uh, we've seen how devastating it could be. While this is a moment that when you're at this camp for the next few days, none of that is here. None of those influences are here. This is time to remove yourself from it, uh, to think about it, to focus in on yourself, helping to build strength in yourself, helping to build strength with the, with the, with the team that's here. The participants will locate a personal sacred spot where they learn to reflect and connect with their natural surroundings. This spiritual exercise provides infinite healing to the youth, a moment of peace and serenity.
How fast they get soft, eh? This drum making exercise gives youth an opportunity to develop their creative skills with traditional crafts. These simple exercises adds to the esteem and skills of each youth. And then we usually have speakers in the morning. We invite biologists, elders, community leaders, uh, representatives of, uh, of various industries, and then we bring them into the camp and they then share their knowledge with the young people. This is a cougar. This, I'm not sure when it was shot, but it was shot about probably five, six years ago, I would think. I'm gonna pass this one around. I like this one. This is my favorite. Lynx. <laughs> Which one's a grizzly bear? Which one's a black bear? The only way that I know of that you can tell is measuring this tooth here. No, you never want to get that close. But if, but if you find a skull, if you find a skull in the mountains or in the bush, you measure that tooth and if it's over an inch and a quarter, 99% of the time it's going to be a grizzly bear. The youth gain first-hand knowledge of the environment at this camp. The untouched wilderness exposes them to a wonderful living museum of vegetation and rare animals. A delicate balance between sustenance and respect for the environment is taught by camp leaders. In the afternoons, we usually take them out into the bush, and uh, there they, they learn bush skills, uh, they learn skills in terms of being able to read maps, uh, to utilize uh, things like uh, GPS. So just think of what am I going to need during the day? So am I going to need my rain jacket, my water bottle, uh, maybe some sun cream, lots of stuff. So pack those at the top. So the, the team skills are very, very varied. So just because one person is very good at you know, hauling big weights uphill, um, that doesn't make them necessarily the, you know, the, the best person in the team. We also work on uh, leadership skills, we work on team building skills, and we also work on the young people as individuals and accentuate the fact that they've got to work to become healthy, productive uh, members of their community. Mm -hmm. 